Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to go from bridge, where I have many uh, HDR uh, exposures of one scene, and convert it into a single HDR image. Now, what this is, is the same exact point of view, and what I did was I took several different exposures, meaning I had some dark ones, some light ones, uh, about one exposure value apart. Anyway, you highlight all the different shots, okay, and these were automated in my camera to do these different separations, but you can do them just by manually adjusting your camera settings. But anyway, what you do is you go to Tools, Photoshop, and Merge to HDR Pro. What it'll do is it'll create a new uh, document and layer them all up on the right side. After they get aligned, they will start to, I guess, organize by the different things. Like if you vibrated the camera or something, it's going to arrange them all to where they all line up. And uh, just cycles through each layer while it's doing that. Now when you're done, you'll be presented with this Merge to HDR Pro uh, dialog. And you'll see all the different images in order. right? and you'll also see some presets set up. Now for me, I'm going to tell it to do my favorite preset, which is called Scott 5. You can change some of these settings and see how, how the uh, glow value and some of the different aspects will change, but um, this is the one that, well, I mean, I just think when I hit Scott 5, it pretty much does a great job uh, when I have good photos. So anyway, take a set of photos that are in a row like this of different exposure values and then try pulling them into Photoshop and let's see what we get. And as it comes back in, let's see, alright, pretty impressive. Let's take a look at that. You can see that it really has a richness in the picture. Um, sometimes you get some weirdness around the edges of things, like, ooh, that's a little crazy. but. I think overall we have a pretty good looking picture.